Is Grey's Anatomy finally getting down to the business of replacing Katherine Heigl? Heck no. But I bet it got your attention. I will be here the whole time. The truth is, Shonda Rhimes is about to start scouring some of LA's finest chain restaurants, looking for a young actress to play a new female intern at Seattle Grace. Not to replace anyone, just to hang out for a few episodes. Possibly more. Great. 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 I'm told a lot of it depends on who she finds to play the part. Now, not that Miss Rhymes asked her anything, but she may want to check out the Bob's Big Boy in Burbank. I have a sneaking suspicion she'll find what she's looking for there. What's gotta suck is landing an awesome role on 24 and then on your way to the set, getting stopped at the border for an expiring visa. That's exactly what happened to former Ally McBeal star Gil Bellows, and as he's about to confirm, yes, indeed, it sucked. Yeah, I got stuck in London for two days begging the Canadian consulate to rush and send me a passport so I could get down to South Africa. Because the South Africans wouldn't let me down until they made that slight adjustment, which was hell. Can you imagine having to call production uh, uh, down in South Africa when you're in London saying they won't let me on the plane? As anyone with an internet connection and even a passing interest in pop culture knows, I've been immersed in kind of a nasty feud with a certain someone. I hate Snapple. Well, inspired in part by Jenny Garth and Shannon Doherty's hatchet burying reunion on 90210, I decided to let bygones be bygones. Don't show up here wearing a tie. And finally, finally, have a civil conversation with William Fickner. Are you happy to not be making that commute between Texas and L.A.? I, now that no, I like getting on a plane every weekend and then coming home on a Friday night and leaving again on a Sunday. Did you see that? He was literally going to bite my head off. My sources are telling me first episode, Mahone's going to have a little bit of a family crisis. All I can tell you is this, is that it's, 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 it's wonderful what the writers did in episode one because it's really, it's put me into a situation where, uh, you know, they really fed the character for the whole season. What is that dude's problem? Seriously. Last question, Sarah, the whole head thing. Your thoughts about that when you saw her again? Were you like, oh my God, your head, it's back on? <laughs> it's a prison break, babe. You, know, you don't worry about that stuff. Dude, anger management, something. Whatever. Let it go. You don't walk around reporting on stuff looking like that, and especially taken seriously as a journalist. He could be doing so much more important work. Just this morning, I wrote a blog post about my favorite quote from a stoner movie. Okay, now that's important.